And so his servants said to Saul, find a man who plays skillfully on the harp. And so they went out and they found David. David was a man after God's own heart, even though he was a very imperfect man. One thing that David got right was he knew when he sinned, he needed to repent, to call upon the name of the Lord. He knew that he needed to confess his sin, not hide his sin, but confess his sin. And another powerful thing about David, throughout his life, he was a worshiper. And so we can have major issues in our life, but worship and a passion to love the Lord in praise and worship builds an altar in your life where God is able to find a place in your life to majorly bless you. And so David came to the palace and he played for Saul. And the scripture so, says, so it came about that whenever the evil spirit was on Saul, David took a harp and played it with his hand. So Saul would be refreshed and be well and the evil spirit would leave him. Here we are getting revelation that music, righteous, holy music, worship of God will cause the devil to leave our life. And so although Saul was not a worshiper, David was a worshiper. And David, you could see that David was a type of altar himself. He was a mobile altar of worship. So where David went, his altar went. And he could worship and praise the Lord on that harp. And by that music, the devil would flee off of all that was in David's environment, which would include Saul. So what left was not Saul, but the devil that was on Saul. Now we know that Jesus said in John 4, 24, that the Father God is the source of all life, and those that worship him must what? Worship him how? In spirit and in truth. And in verse uh, 23, he actually says that true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit from the heart, the inner self and in truth for the father seeks such people to be his worshipers now, i want you to get the picture here there are people today in the church even in the church that don't really worship the lord they're worshiping out of pretense are they worshiping out of what people might think about them they're not true worshipers because we understand in john 4 that the lord is looking for true worshipers and that true worshipers worship how? In spirit, in their spirit man, and they worship in truth. So they're not worshiping in pretense. They're not worshiping as a show. They're really listening to the words they're singing and they're bringing it up to heaven. Those are true worshipers. Now we are a spiritual being. So we, born again of God, should only build altars that's going to honor the Lord, honor the Lord in our praise and the words that we say, the music that we choose to listen to. But as we as believers, if we start thinking, well, you know, none of this, I know, I know these, this, these lyrics are, aren't good, but it's okay. It's not okay because in the spirit realm, there are evil forces that are attracted to certain kind of music and it can open doors for you that you don't want to open. It can open doors to you that will betray the Lord and betray his goodness. And we, we don't want to open any door through music, through an altar that's false.